KG, Brighton 4-4, four, four, Man United nil. You was you try just emotionally just withdraw. Yeah, but yeah. the team don't let you do it. No, nah, you, know you do it. I'm still like I'm withdrawn, yeah, but deep down I'm in pain. I know it like um watching your team lose week in, week out. Like it came into the studio, obviously Cam was coming, we're both in, we're watching doing the match for you, so I'm thinking to myself, it should be good today. I said 3 0. Yeah. I don't know why. I I should have remembered the team that I support, right? I didn't. Um and then it we got what we got what we deserved. We're rubbish. We're not good enough. We used to we're um it's like memorabilia. You put it, you call it like that, basically. Memorabilia FC, we haven't got what it takes. And when we say we haven't got it, it takes, bro, we got bopped about today. Can you tell me what was good? Can you tell me what you liked about today's performance? It was an embarrassment. We're an embarrassment. We're just we're literally an embarrassment. The Every player, there's, I don't like any of these players. You know, you, we talked about, we, we, me and you've been talking about Play FC for a long time. There's no one in there. I don't want their shirts. I, like, I don't, do I have a name on the back of this shirt? I don't want, this is what I'm saying. Blank I, FC. I, blank, <laughs> blank. There's no one. I don't want anyone here. Do you know what I mean? Because they gave us that. This is what they've given us. Like, you have to say to yourself, is it acceptable for Man United to lose to Brighton 4-0? Of course not. On any day, away, home, it don't matter. But we did. You know, like, that was a great outing for Brighton fans. And, and to give them respect, like, they've been slapped, they slapped up Arsenal away, they slapped up Spurs away, they slapped doesn't up matter. Wolves. Like, they are a good team. No, but it doesn't matter. But to go and, like, even if we'd have lost to them, say, 2-1 on the yeah. day, like, they're a, they're a good outfit. We saw, look, there were, at times they were like prime Barcelona against us, but yeah. the application and, and the effort levels from our players... I want to say I've never seen anything like it, but we've that's what it. pisses me off. I have, I have seen something seen like that before. And, we, and again, um, there's that thing about how good of our players, they're not good. You know, literally, I, I can't... Who's good? You know, when, you get, when it comes down to it, you say to yourself, they're all... We can't call it about downing tools. They might not have the tools. Simple as that. Down something they, you ain't got You can't own. down what you don't have. I don't have the tools. Well, you, you Like, we're not even... It's when it gets to the thing, you know, like before... When we used to lose before, it's you come on here, you're like, oh man, yeah. yeah. Passion and just anger, ranting and stuff. It's not that. Because we know this. Mid table side, this is what we are. None of these players should get a new contract, it feels to me. And I just can see now it's beyond the rebuild. Bro, gutting. You have to gut it. You have to gut the whole house. Um, Ralph has to take some level of. Um, I like what Ralph's doing in the background so maybe exposing it all yeah. but Rouse probably exposed himself as you can't manage so management wise allow it yeah you're meant to build it, stay in the back room and get the job done you need to sell drink we got rid of um, Chief Scout Rouse going to help in negotiations I don't want big players on massive contracts I need well, sorry let me just get to the point I was going to say about Rouse though in terms of the players that he's put in he hasn't fought back properly. I don't know if he's trying to protect these players and he doesn't want to sully them. I like, just try, he's tried a bit of everything though, hasn't he? He tried, tried four triple two narrow, tried Bruno here, no, well put in Rashford, that didn't work. Yeah. Plays Cavani, he gets Play injured, Bruno pisses wise. off. He's, he's, he's oh, tried everything. What else can he do? I think he's just looked at it and said, this is shit, mate. Yeah. You lot yeah. of shit. Yeah. Isn't it? I, yeah, and I think the what happens is now you players start get playing with the same brush. Yeah. So you have to leave out like Alanga now is gonna come up for criticism yeah. just because he's with a bad batch. So now you're gonna start looking at Alanga and saying, Oh, he's like them lot. He's different, he's a youngster from the academy. So maybe you, you don't bring in the players to protect them. You know what I mean? So I think because I said I wanna see the Hannibals and the uh, Ganachos and all these players, but What's the point if you're gonna bring them into a toxic environment? That's what Ralph was saying about not playing them. Yeah. yeah, you can't. You can't learn in that environment. The only thing is, um, what well, is nothing you can do? I when I when I deep it, there's no, literally nothing you can do. We got touched up by the seagulls today, in a bad way. Seagulls, bro. Um. <laughs> there's no. That, there's yeah. nothing else to to say about this team. That's what I mean about. Every time you try to go, do you know what? Yeah, we probably won't win or whatever. They 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 show you again how bad they can be. Oh, we can be worse. Does Ten Hag is Ten Hag even more concerned when he's looking at this? Ten Hag, again, the beautiful thing that I heard recently was he can sign Ajax players. There's no injunction because he knows he's like these lot of rubbish. I need to bring as many players as I know 
into this team because the overhaul is too much. Flex, he needs to have like three or four men. 100%. He has to have four, three or four men that is that are his dogs. Yeah. And he needs at least yeah. three or four windows. And then when they come into the dressing room, they are moving stuff. They're on some, yeah, we sit here now. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? You know yeah. when they, they come in and say, this is how this thing's going to run. You look at, look at today. Maguire comes on the pitch. I'm not, this is not even cussing Maguire, yeah. but it just shows you the state of this thing. Maguire comes onto the pitch, doesn't get the, doesn't get the um, armband. Doesn't get it at all. That's... Yeah. Oh. Um, there you go. I just get to see Liverpool and Tottenham duking it out. What what we what we can see though is I do believe a manager can change things and the players are pricks because they didn't get behind Ralph because he was a um what's the, what's the word Interim. supply teachers so he not there for long do, temporary he was never gonna respect him that's mm. what it showed but I think it's embarrassing that the players couldn't be professional just to do their jobs so saying it's saying, saying they're not gonna respect him because he's interim no they need to respect the shirt but they haven't respected the shirt they've just done whatever they want to do you know and this is why Ralph Bring in four to five players, and these guys shouldn't have a voice. The Bruno point that I was making is he um when Maguire comes on, Bruno should really run to Maguire given the armband. He doesn't even look up to him. Do you know what I mean? Which, Maguire doesn't go and get it. Maguire doesn't even go and get it, which tells us everything. He's just like an acting, he's just an acting, um, acting captain, not really the captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The captain's already been stripped from him. I don't believe he was injured. I just believe they just that was the easiest way to go around it. Yeah. That was the easiest way to deal with it. Yep. This we said after the email that you see, which is horrible. This is where we are. I just, I'm just happy now that there's only 90 more minutes. I'm happy that there's 90 more minutes. It's Crystal Palace. <laughs> Not winning that either. Yeah, Vieira is gonna. Vieira is gonna. Let run around. Vieira is gonna touch us. Vieira, Zara, gonna, Zaha, Eze. Yeah, yeah. Madness. Not getting. Not getting. I'll be in the studio. I'll be in the studio. I'll be with kid. you. Oh yeah, we kid. I'm not yeah, getting. I'm okay. Because yeah. what's the point? Yeah. You know what I mean. You don't want to. Um, Man United don't deserve fans to come and watch these games. I feel, I, I'm sad for the fans that went yeah, to watch today. Shocking. You know what I mean? There's one guy that I think will be the meme forever now. Um, you know, he just looks like, yeah. and it's, it, his facial expression says exactly what we are. Well, you just can't believe what you're witnessing. Well, we should bad believe it, it, but you can't believe it's this bad. Yeah. You know, you, we, I, I've expected to lose to Liverpool and expected to lose to Man City and get touched. But 4-0 to Brighton. Yeah. Love. Um... Yeah, Ronaldo's going though. <laughs> I I, when he again, remember he's when we were doing the show. Remember we doing the show, and I said gone, gone, the gone. feelings and stuff. Ronaldo's going. Listen, you lot, just say goodbye now. Ronaldo's cutting. You think Ronaldo's here for us? You gotta be kidding. Ronaldo wants to win trophies. He laughed. Stay where? When you lot said that, I said I'm staying or I'm not finished. He said, Nah, I didn't say that, guys. He's gone. Big up Ronaldo. Thanks for doing what you did this season. Um, all the best, man. Hope you win more trophies, bro. Just guaranteed gone. Is this gone, you just gone. What are you staying for? Since you do what? With them, man? Nah, hold tight. And yeah, 